next morning. It is 9.45 a.m. on day two, and I just made it to the breakfast. So I'll show you guys like what everything looks like. They have like a pretty good selection of stuff, but they don't have bacon, which I'm sad about. So I'm about to get some breakfast, and then I'm gonna go back upstairs to my room and decide what I wanna do today, because it's like 94 degrees outside, and I gotta do something fun. So here is what I got. I just got some Fruit Loops, a yogurt, two pieces of French toast, and they have like these egg omelet things. So I put cheese and jalapenos. I'm about to get some ketchup, and I just need to put some milk in my cereal and then figure out how I'm gonna carry all of this because I'm honestly not sure right now. Day two of the trip. I had breakfast this morning and then I chilled, watched some Shameless, and then I was trying to figure out what I wanted to go do. So I looked up a bunch of different stuff and the coolest thing that I could find was this art exhibit. So we're gonna go there. And then also this place called The Sandlot had a lot of good reviews and it's like a bay area. It's not a beach, but it's like a bay area and they have beer and food and stuff. So I'm gonna try to do the art exhibit and then this Sandlot place. So let me just show you that outfit. It's 94 degrees, so I'm terrified to even go outside. Um, but I'm gonna show you what my outfit looks like and I'm already sweating. Okay, so here's the outfit. I did my makeup and then I have this yellow dress. Don't mind the shoes because I'm gonna change them in the car to like cuter flip flops, but we're gonna be walking a lot so I didn't wanna wear anything crazy. And then I just have my Steve Madden bag and like some jewelry. Hopefully, I don't die drenched in my own sweat today, but no promises.
just got finished walking through all of the different areas of the art exhibit and it was really cool. It's drizzling now and I'm hoping my hair doesn't get too messed up, but just to show you where I am, this is a cute little area. I would live here. It seems pretty quiet around here specifically, but yeah. Oh, it's really raining. Oh my God, it's really raining. Okay. Well, we're about to go try to get some seafood. I'm feeling some crab cakes or something, so. Okay, so I found my spot. It's called Angie's Seafood, and it looks like it's gonna be really good. The server just told me the specials, and she told me this really good one that's like a lobster tail and a crab cake and potatoes and all this other stuff. So I think I'm gonna get some wine, some seafood bisque, and then possibly that lobster tail and crab cake thing. And I mean, everything, the, it, this place had really good reviews, so I'm sure that everything's gonna be great. But the menu is like pretty extensive, so I'm gonna take a look at it before I decide, but that special sounds really, really good. Okay, I'm ready to order, and I decided I'm gonna get cream of crab soup, and then the special that you told me about with the crab cake and the um, lobster tail. And then we'll see if I have room for dessert. Probably not, because that sounds like a lot, but I'm feeling the vibe in here. It seems like it's really nice, maybe for dinner, but I'm just here at a weird time. It's like four something, so nobody's in here, which is, I mean, like, good for me, but. Okay, so I'll show you what the guy, I'll show you guys what the food looks like. God. Okay. <laughs> So here we go, we're getting started. I have a little Caesar salad here, which was actually one of my sides that comes with the meal that I got. And then this is crab bisque. And I, <laughs> she said it only comes in one size and I was hoping it was a cup, but it's a whole entire bowl. So I don't know if we're gonna be finishing that, but everything looks really, really good. So my food came out and <laughs> I don't think I knew what I was getting into when I ordered this thing and I'm definitely gonna need several boxes. They ended up bringing out bread too, which is so good. They literally just baked it and it's so good. But let me just show you my food. <laughs> Look at this. That is tilapia, potatoes, a crab cake, a lobster tail, and shrimp, the house baked bread, and rice. I, oh my God. Okay, update. So good. Like, I don't understand. They must have just caught this today and like, oh my God, it's just. As you can imagine, I just tore that up, okay? So I have my little to-go bag because obviously I couldn't finish it, but it was really good. And now I'm gonna try to head to that place, sand, that sandlot place. I don't know if I mentioned it already, but it's supposed to be like a little bay area with a little sandy part and you can get drinks and stuff and just like hang out. It's like a picnic area. So I'm gonna try to go over there and then we'll see how that is. So I finally found this sandlot place. Spotted that golden hour sunlight though, hey. So this place is really nice. It's right on the bay and there's some sand that you can sit on. I didn't bring a towel or anything, but they have benches and I'm gonna get a drink. And it looks like once it gets dark, it's gonna be kind of lit out here. And it's very nice out. It's like 85 degrees still, even though it's almost six o'clock. And here's the view. Who's prettier, me or the water? <laughs> this like sour rosé spritz thing it's good it's just sparkling wine with like some fruit and some other stuff so it's kind of like a mix of like rosé and sangria I'm chilling back 
in the car after leaving the Sandlot place. That was so nice and I just got to chill, watch a little bit of Netflix and just drank my drink and hung out and now that my food from before has settled, I'm ready to get some chocolate cake so I think I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna look up this wine ice cream place and see if they're still open which I don't know, it's 8.35 maybe open maybe not we're gonna check and also I'm gonna see how far away it is from here um, but I did want to check it out I think it's called wine cream wine creamery or something like that and uh, but the place that I just ate the seafood at before had this really good molten lava chocolate cake with vanilla ice cream but I didn't have room for it when I ate before and the lady was like oh if you go hang out just come back and then you can have it later so I might actually have it later so we'll see what happens this pie place because I wanted dessert and then I realized whenever I have something sweet I have to have something savory but lucky for me they have savory and sweet pies here so I actually got a blueberry pancake pie I think it has crumble on it it's wrapped up over here for later for when I go back to the hotel but then for my savory I got this it's like a breakfast pie which I was feeling a diner kind of vibe anyway and it comes with coleslaw and I have my water and that's my pie for later but this one has cheese potatoes peppers onions and pieces of bacon but it's in a pie crust Ugh, amazing back at the hotel and I'm all ready for bed. I'm about to eat this blueberry pancake pie that I got from the pie place and watch Shameless until I knock out and then we're gonna go to the aquarium tomorrow.